Ale. So here with the August contest, like I said, there is a change in the August contest. Um, we are still going to do the Scar Gel. So we have the Scar Gel from Skin Medica that was donated by the McLean Clinic. A bottle like this costs you about $118 Canadian, but you can get it free from us, courtesy of the McLean Clinic, which is amazing. Also, check out, because Ontario guys, they are covered under OHIP, so your top surgery can now be covered under OHIP, and you could get amazing results like this from going to McLean's. So, keep that in mind. Um... So, for the contest this month, what we have decided is that we are going to go back to giving away a regular packer, just because at this point in time, we do not get donations. Um, we advertise for a lot of donations, we did a car wash, we do um, lots of fundraisers, we do at least four or five a year. Um, they're big events as well, so they bring in a couple hundred dollars. But those mainly go to giving money towards our top surgery fund, which we like to give away at least $500 this year. Because last year, um, actually it wasn't even any, a year, it was under a year we were able to give away $500. And we'd like to do that again this year. We have about somewhere around the $250 mark right now for the top surgery fund. So that is taken care of we're hoping by january we raise about 250 more dollars at least so that we can do that contest again and be able to give away as much if not a little bit more than we did last year but the thing is that um i guess in the community that we're in it's really hard to get out there and it's hard to get other people out and the support is very hard to get as well so We've noticed that when we do our events, we do get a pretty decent turnout. Our last few have been a little bit lacking, which is quite sad. Um, it's really hard to get the community out where I'm from specifically, so that's another one as well. And it's really hard to branch out into other um, areas because if I took trans fellas to, say, Toronto or... Um, like, even if I tried to go to the States or tried to go somewhere that has a bigger trans community, I'm going to have to pay money to use spots, to have equipment there for me, to, like, I'm not going to be able to make any money off of those shows like I do in Hamilton. Um, a lot of people don't like that it's in Hamilton, which actually really bothers me because um, out of everything, I've been able to get more support from businesses and things like that here than I have been in bigger places that make more money and should be able to help out the community a little bit more. Um, a lot of people get mad because I stick to doing my events at Steel Lounge. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to be completely honest with you and blunt. I don't care what anybody has to say. Okay? That's where I do my events because I am able to get the space for free, okay? I have a deal I'm with the owner that I can do my shows there. All I have to do is ask her, and she will allow me to do this. And a lot of people aren't grasping that other bars don't let you do this, especially in bigger areas. They want you to pay. And because I bring in guys that need money for their transition who – are willing to do drag, car washes, whatever it may be. And a lot of these guys have never, ever done any of this before. So this is their first time doing it, and other bars don't want that because we're not good enough. So at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody has to say about it. It happens where it happens because we are able to get the space. We are able to be comfortable in an area where nobody is going to make fun of us if our dance moves aren't perfect, or if we screw up. We do it there because there we're allowed to make money off of it so that we can benefit the community, okay? I understand that when bars take a percentage of your money from doing something there, then they make money for the community as well. But at the end of the day, if you're not somebody who's doing it consistently, and it's, I do it four times a year, so yeah, I get to do it for no cost, and I get to keep my door cover, and we get tips, 
and I get to put on um, a raffle. I get to sell baked goods if I want to in a bar. So um, at the end of the day, anybody who thinks that Hamilton is shit and that I should branch out and go elsewhere, I've looked into it. And it's not that welcoming anywhere else. So at the end of the day, this is my best point to do what I'm doing and to be able to get guys to come out who aren't going to be scared because in bigger cities you have hecklers, you have people that don't understand what's going on. So that's one thing. And I'm able to run these contests and I'm able to do things like that. But at the end of the day, like there isn't an abundance of money. Um, a good chunk of things actually comes out of my own pocket and I don't work. Um, I am unable to work. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm unable to work. I haven't worked in two years. So when I put on these events or if I do these contests and you know, a lot of people come at me from really weird areas and give me flack for it. And that's fine. You want to give me flack, give me flack, but I'm letting you guys know. They really don't care if you want to give me flack because at the end of the day, 50% of what is done by trans fellas comes out of my pocket personally. So if you want to get mad at me because I don't want to go to a bigger city to do shows because of safety reasons for my crew or um, costs or how much I'm going to be able to get to give back. So that's where I come from. That's where this whole thing comes from. Okay. And that's the way it's going to stay. And the negativity towards it from people from larger cities is really starting to bother me. And that's why I'm making this video so that everybody can understand that this scar gel is donated for free from Dr. McLean. So that's amazing that I was able to get that and that they are willing to do that. I'm beyond floored that he's willing to do that. He does it every month and that, that adds up. Okay. So I think there's certain things that need to kind of be acknowledged. Um, there are a lot of people doing the same things out there, doing contests like I am, and that's fine. And if you don't like how the contests here are run, or that I can't always give the most expensive product away, or that I can't always um, have binders for donations, I put up posts all the time asking for gently used binders, but unfortunately they're not coming in. I do notice that there are a lot of people, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, I totally support my brothers in the US, but at the end of the day, when you're a Canadian trying to do stuff like this, everybody just kind of like overshadows it. And there are a lot of people that have sent amazing emails and thanks and everything like that to me, and I am so appreciative of the people that respect what I'm doing and understand what other guys like me are doing. It's just the matter of when it comes to trying to get donations or trying to get my merch out there. Um, people have made fun of my merch. I clearly state that these shirts are silk screened by hand, individually made to order. So if you don't like that they're silk screened, then don't buy the product. Okay. I, you know what? It's not even the merch to me doesn't really matter. I don't make the money off merch. I do it because it was something neat that I wanted to do. I liked the designs that I did and then people started saying that they wanted them. So I started making them. This wasn't a thing for me to get rich because there is no effing way that that would happen because like I said, 50% of everything that goes into this is out of my pocket. So, you know, just take into consideration what people do because it's really hard to get binders here. Um, I put up posts all the time and I always notice that there are guys from the States constantly getting tons of binders sent to them and you know, we could have the same amount of followers, but they're going in one direction and not the other. And the funny part of that is that I never wanted to close off these contests to anybody outside of Canada. If you live in Europe, if you live in Australia, if you live wherever, I'm willing to send it to you. Not many other people are, but I'm willing to. So at the end of the day, it's a matter of, to be perfectly honest, there's not a lot of guys that have won. Like I would say more than 50% of our winners come from the U S. So at the end of the day to get bombarded with 
rude things or being told that I'm not doing enough or something like that. It's like, I don't have to give this stuff away to anybody. I don't have to give it away outside of Canada. This scar gel comes from Canada where it's been paid for by a Canadian surgeon. So at the end of the day, I don't have to give it to anybody outside of Canada, but I want to. So I think that really what I'd like people to do is just acknowledge that things aren't easy for anybody. We all have struggles. We all have difficulties and we kind of have to respect each other on that. Okay. So I'm going to respect you guys. If you respect me, if you don't respect me, then I'm probably not even going to acknowledge you. And I'm going to be honest with that because I don't want to fight with people. I don't want to argue with people. I don't want to be mad. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to feel taken advantage of. And um, that's pretty much what I wanted to let everybody know is that we are going to verge back to a smaller price range item. We are going to give away a basic packer, a Mr. Limpy. That packer costs $12. It's going to be probably a four inch. So it is going to be a selected size because at this point in time, our main concern is trying to get that $500 for somebody's top surgery. That's one of our main concerns. And mailing out these products that we give away as well is not cheap. This costs close to $20 to ship out. So even though it's free, there's still other, there's still other payments that have to be made towards this being shipped to whoever has won it. And that's the same with any of the binders we ship out, the gently used ones um, and whatnot. Like, you know, they're not a big cost because I can ship them from my house. But when they come from the company that we purchase from, we're tagged with that shipping cost. So at the end of the day, it's, it's very important that everybody understands everything that goes on throughout these because I want to be able to give these prizes to people that really need them to people that are going to be grateful for them um, and people who understand what everyone else is going through because although transition is a very personal thing and it's a very, um, I don't want to say selfish time, but it's a time to take that, take yourself in and pay more attention to yourself. But you also have to remember that there are a lot of us doing that, whether we're um, F to M, M to F, genderqueer, non-binary, um, any label really. So, you know, everybody has points in their lives, whether they're cis, which I know a lot of people don't like that. And the only reason I use cis is when I'm deterring, de deferring, sorry, between trans persons and non-trans persons. It's not a point of where I use that word on a daily basis to describe people, because at the end of the day, we're all the same. Even though I'm trans, I'm still a guy, and I'm still a human, I'm still a person. And that's what we all are. So whether you identify outwardly as trans or not, or whether you, like, whatever you choose to do, everybody, I just really want to take this moment to ask everyone just to be respectful within our community, because it is very hard to get respect outside of the community for a lot of people. So we need to start it inside and hopefully get the outside to start doing the same. So uh, I just want to close out this video with saying thank you for listening. It was a longer video, and yes, it was a little bit on the downside, but I just wanted to let everybody know because I've been doing these contests for over a year now, and, um, you know, you always get bad stuff, and you're always going to get bad stuff, and I have definitely gotten way more good stuff than bad stuff, but if I continue to just let the bad stuff build up and I never acknowledge it, then that's not going to help anybody either. So I just wanted to shed some light on this and so let everybody know what's going on. Let everyone know that we're trying our best and that what we're doing is not being done lightly. So I uh, just hope everyone appreciates and that everybody really realizes that we all need each other to be able to get through whatever we're going through. So be kind to one another, please. Um, I'm going to close off and just say that the scar gel is still up for grabs. And um, if 
If you would like to enter for the ScarJo, we ask that you be roughly under a year post-op and coming up to two months maybe before surgery. I know sometimes the numbers change within the video. I don't have them written down, but I try to remember from memory, and I think I'm usually within a month or so of being correct. Um, but yeah, so if you would like to win this, the email will be below. All you have to do is put your name and hashtag ScarGel. And then what we are going to do is we are going to order a Packer, a Mr. Limpy, that will be a 4-inch, I believe, or whatever is closest to that. I haven't bought one in a while, so it'll be around a 4-inch a, a or maybe 5. So keep that in mind. <laughs> and just email us, same email as below, and just put your name and hashtag Packer. And then that's all you have to do, and at the end of August, we will... Do our draw and announce our winner on September 1st. I don't know. There's another long weekend in September, but I don't think it's when the first falls. So I'm almost positive it'll be on the first. If there are any changes, I will make a video to make everyone aware. So hope everybody has had a great long weekend if you're from Canada. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is okay with anything I said. And I did not mean to sound harsh, rude, or anything like that. I support everybody who is going through transition or going through something along the lines of this um as well as my brothers who do other contests and who sell merch and all that other kind of stuff to benefit the community i do respect you i do support you and i believe i own some of your clothing as well or things that you've done so i just want you guys to know that the comparison between Canadian and American was not done to be rude. It was just simply pointing out something that this, uh, it's actually evident. It, it's, it's a hundred percent accurate and there's no problem with that, but I'm just pointing out why it's not, certain things aren't as doable. So I hope everybody's okay with that. And I hope that everybody has a great week and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.